So, good morning from Roberts Road, it's Richard here and uh, I know that there's been a few comments regarding how I've done these wagons so I thought I'd try and make a video on how I've done them um, Apologies, I'm not a cameraman or a video recordist but what we do is we're starting with a Dapple 21 ton unpainted hopper as you can see here This is the basis of what I use Nice wagon grey and painted pretty nasty coal load in there which we then have to remove so shall we start what I tend to do is just go down the side it flips out in this case it's flipped out on the floor I'll pick it up later so we've got the the inside bare what we now have to do is remove the chassis from the body now this is where it's a little bit more tricky because you've got spring couplings and they can fly away but you've got two clips there and there so what I'm going to try and do is push the clips down and a lot of it is trial and error but you can see the body comes away reasonably easily it's just a case of getting these clips done bit of brute force and to be truthful I'm not too bothered if I break the clips because I can at a later stage glue them together so you can see you've got the body there and you've got so you've got the chassis there you've got the body there completely separated so that's actually ready for priming now for priming i'm going to use a white undercoat which i will show you in a second okay so to continue on the white undercoat i'm using is just a high coat white primer and it can be bought from any car shop i think i got this from the range uh, you can also use the halfords which is a very very good primer as well now what I am going to do though is I'm going to prime this using this outside just purely because I don't want to ruin the filter on the back of my uh, on the back of my spray booth I shall be back in a minute so being outside quickly sprayed it with a primer I'm actually working on two very useful piece of this because it stops you getting the spray all over your hands and it just slides quite nicely underneath into the uh, into the joint into the molding of the body um, I've done the insides as you can see I'm not too bothered about the coverage because that's going to be all gunked up so now it's a case of just letting this dry off before we start working with the acrylics um, and they're all the Vallejo acrylics that we'll be using from the rust colours so a mixture of browns and oranges and that um, but I'll show you those very shortly unfortunately I haven't got one I prepared earlier so I'm just gonna have to wait for this to dry just wanted to show you the setup of paints that we've got because the next stage that we'll do is we're going to coat the wagons in a brown so a burnt umber and a black coating all the way over it's going to be really gunged up doesn't matter how thick it goes on or how thin it goes on because most of it's going to come off once that's done we're going to use a mixture of the the model air and the vallejo uh, washers and uh, rust colors um, to basically dab on with a stipple brush which I'll show you later. 